and today we're going to be doing the NBA playoffs 2020 bracket. It starts today. Um, as you can see, I, uh, yeah, I got nothing right now. I'm going to be doing making a bracket. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'll get right into the video. Um, and yeah. Was the Bucks and the Magic? Now the Bucks were the best team in the NBA record-wise this year, and Giannis has maybe had another NBA, uh, MVP season, which he did go back-to-back -back MVP. I mean, I think the Bucks are all in this year, but Nikola Vucevic is a one-time All-Star. He wasn't an All-Star this season, but he's still, you know, developing as a player and getting better every year. So I mean, I can't just hand it to the Bucks. I think they'll win six games against the Magic because the Magic are not going to take it out slightly. I'm just going to say that. This matchup is the Pacers and the Heat. The number four Pacers, the number five Heat. The Heat have not disappointed this season. I mean, they've done really good. Um, Tyler Hero, you know, he's very underrated right now. Then you have the Pacers, Victor Oladipo returning. Demonte Sabonis is a one-time All-Star this season. So, I mean, it could go either way. What I'm going to go with is the Heat in five games. And the reason I say this is because the Heat have been having a really good season. As a number five seed, I mean, when they're playing in the bubble. There is no home games. Like, they're all playing at the same arena. Celtics have Jason Tatum, Kemba Walker, Gordon Hayward, the 76ers have Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all they really need right now, Them, those two are, are carrying that team right now, Tobias Harris is all, all also on that team, it's a pretty much a 3 on 3 matchup, Gordon Hayward being in there too for the Celtics, I think the Celtics handle this in 7 games, and the reason I say this is because the Celtics, <clears throat> have been like a lot of people have high hopes for them winning like they have high chances of going to the finals this year maybe potentially i just don't think the 76ers are going to be in their way i think they'll get past them but i do think the 76ers will put up a very good fight and make it a seven game series but i do think the celtics will take it in seven games hey guys raptors and nets is the next matchup for the Nets, you gotta <clears throat> look at Kyrie Irving. He's not in the bubble. Kevin Durant is just coming off an injury. He's not playing either, though. Their best player right now is, are probably like two best players, probably Jared Allen and Joe Harris, in my opinion. Then you got the Raptors, who got Fred Van Vliet, who's re been very good. You got Kyle Lowry, you know, a very good player. Also, you know, they got very good players on um, the Raptors and. Honestly, when Kawhi Leonard left and went to the Clippers, I did not think that they were going to be as good. But they did not. They they upset everyone by saying that. They went to the second seed. Um, I think they just take care of the Nets at four games. 4-0. Four -oh. Sweep. Raptors. Lakers, Trailblazers. Now, the Trailblazers lately have been playing insane. I'm not even lying. Like, since the... Return of the NBA, like they have been playing phenomenal. You know, they're the eighth seed right now. Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, and Yusuf Nurkic. All three of those players have been playing outstanding lately. And then pretty much their whole team, too. Actually, Carmelo Anthony, I forgot about him. Carmelo Anthony, you know, who's been struggling the past years, but you know, he's come back. He's on the Trailblazers and he's playing phenomenal. So, Trailblazers are good, but you also got to look at the Lakers, who are also playing very good. They got LeBron James and Anthony Davis, maybe two of the top five players in the NBA right now. So it's kind of hard to pick, but I think that the Lakers take this series in seven games. Damian Lillard is going to play phenomenal, but I think LeBron is going to shut him down. Right now, J 
James Harden has been trying to carry his team all the way, and he's held them at the five seed, which at four seed, Chris Paul is going to be facing the team that he got traded from for Russell Westbrook. Now, he's on the Thunder now, playing with Shea Gilders Alexander, SGA, who's been very good lately, and Steven Adams has been playing good too. So any, I mean, this this series could go either way, but I say it's the, the Rockets in five games. I don't think. It's Nuggets to Jazz now. Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, both been playing good for the Nuggets. Jazz though, Donovan Mitchell had COVID nineteen. He's back now. Rudy Gobert, I'm pretty sure had it too. He's back. Both two solid players. I think you just got to go with Nuggets in six games. I don't really think there's much to talk about in this series, really. It's going to depend on how good the players play for their team side. Clippers and the Mavericks. Now, both these teams have played awesome. Luka Doncic having an awesome year. I think he was Rookie of the Year last season. He's a first-time All-Star this season. Now playing aside, Kristaps Porzingis, who is a very good player. And the Clippers, who have had, who have Paul George, Kawhi Leonard. I'm pretty sure they still have Montrez Harrell, and then they have Lou Williams. The Clippers have been phenomenal. Like no one's been able to stop them, really. Um, I don't think, and that's why they worked hard to get to the second seed here. And the Clippers have never even won a conference finals matchup in franchise history, I'm pretty sure. Because they definitely haven't won a championship, I know that. Now, I think they take down the Mavericks in five games. There's no way else to put it. Kawhi. Bucks and Heat. The Heat have been playing very well this season. I mean, Giannis and Chris Middleton, though. I don't know, man. This goes either way, but I think, actually, you know, yeah, I'm gonna go with the sweep. The Bucks just take up the heat. Just Celtics Raptors here. One of the games, the Celtics did beat the Raptors. I'm pretty sure by 20 plus points, some more than 20. So we could go either way, but I do think the Raptors win a couple games. So I, I do think the Celtics take it though. Celtics are gonna beat the Raptors six games. I have to say, Celtics take the Raptors out in six games. Guys, Lakers Rockets. I don't even think there's any way to put this. I think the Lakers just take this in four games. I don't think I really need to explain this. I mean, the Lakers aren't going to mess around with the Rockets. I mean, the Rockets, you probably might be like, but but the Rockets are good, you know? They might beat the Lakers one or two games. I just don't see it happening. The Lakers are work too hard for this, and I don't see the Rockets even beating them once. They're going to cruise through this whole playoffs. I'm In the second round, Nuggets Clippers. Now, the Clippers in seven games, because the Nuggets... They were too hard for this, but the Clippers worked even harder, I think. I mean, it's not even just based on the season. Like, it, it depends on how well the players are going to play. I just think Jamal Murray and Nicole Jokic just don't don't have it. what it takes to beat them. I think they'll fight against the Clippers. They will. They'll get a couple games out of them, but I don't think they're going to get a whole series out of them. You know, like, they will go a whole series seven games, in my opinion, but I don't think they'll be able to win it. It's very definitely going seven Bucks and Celtics, but I just don't know who to pick. I think the Bucks did beat us in the first return NBA game. That's why I'm saying this goes seven. But I do honestly think the Celtics make their journey back to the NBA Finals. Jason Tatum, we know how bad he wants it, and I think he's gonna go there to the NBA Finals. It'll be um, the Boston Celtics once again in the NBA Finals. Lakers Clippers final matchup. Do we have a rematch Celtics Lakers, or is it a whole other ball game in Celtics Clippers? The Los Angeles Lakers. I almost said Clippers. I was I was close. This is going seven games. 
but the Lakers just they they know they know what they're doing out there. LeBron wants another championship. It's final matchup here, Lakers Celtics. I go to Celtics in six games against the Lakers, guys. And I I just think Jason Tatum. He's played against LeBron in the conference finals when he was on the Cavs before. Like, when LeBron was on the Cavs. I think it was Jason Tatum's rookie season. I'm pretty sure he dunked on LeBron. Like, Tatum's played LeBron before. He knows his game plan. He knows what he's doing. And then Anthony Davis, we'll see what he does. But, I, in my opinion, it's the Celtics going very far and winning the NBA Finals this year. So, there you have it, guys. keep it too long so i just want you guys to know this was recorded before gordon here we got hurt with the ankle sprain and everything so if i like said things like oh he's gonna be there for them and stuff like I, this was recorded like a couple days ago like the day the playoffs started so um i was being no bias in this video uh please like this video if you want another video like this like an nhl playoffs video and i'll see you guys in the next video